set off my side mattresses. On now. Partly cloudy tonight, broadcasting on Water Run Country. Hi, I'm Chandra Llewellyn. Victoria's emergency department wait times is being blamed on bed blocks. Latest health data shows the number of emergency department patients forced to wait more than 24 hours has increased tenfold during the second busiest court on record. Response times in Geelong have stabilised. Data shows there was an 18.3% increase in Code 1 caseload from the same time last year and paramedics attended 70.1% of Code 1 patients within 15 minutes. Police have been called to a home in Newcombe where it's understood human remains have been found. The property on Andrew Street was taped off after emergency services were called just after half past seven this morning. It's believed there were no suspicious circumstances. Manslaughter charges against the manager of a trucking company over the Eastern Freeway tragedy have been dropped on the eve of his Supreme Court trial. Police allege that the manager should never have allowed his employee, who was fatigued, to get behind the wheel on the day of the crash where four police officers were killed. Energy ministers from around the country have met today to discuss soaring power prices, with predictions the cost of electricity is set to jump by 50%. The federal government has been urged to step in to ease the burden on families and businesses. And local tourism operators are taking advantage of the unofficial long weekend to welcome Melbourne visitors to the region. Many take the Monday off for the Melbourne Cup and Tracy Carter from Tourism Greater Geelong and the Bellarine says they're expecting a busy one. We expect to see plenty of visitors out and about in Geelong and the Bellarine but those looking for a last minute booking, um, I think there's still a little bit around for them so that's good news for anyone who's a bit of a late, late planner. <laughs> K-Rock Sport, Geelong Times, your free local newspaper. Australia will take to the field tonight at the G, their first game since the passing of Shane Warne with a huge crowd expected for the T20 match pending the weather against England. Captain Aaron Finch says Warne left a huge mark on all the players. Meantime, wicketkeeper Matthew Wade has tested positive for COVID and Geelong has a chance to return to finals for the first time since 2019, hosting the winless Swans in the final round of the AFLW tomorrow, coach Dan Lowther says the Cats still have a lot to work on before finals after a loss to Adelaide last week. The wash-up post-game was that we did a lot right. It was just about refining it again how we, we go into the next week and, and hopefully further on. Sixth um, car and truck rental has arrived in Australia. At six, we go above and beyond. Sport. We call it the Above and Beyond Up to ninety-one thousand dollars worth of free upgrades. Seas and seas apply. Partly cloudy tonight, down to nine degrees. Tomorrow showers sixteen, and Sunday a shower or two, twenty-one.